can you put too much shock in a swimming pool? Let's say you have an all hands on deck sort of approach to pool care at your house. So after yesterday's torrential downpour, your significant other shocks the pool overnight, but you don't know that. So after dinner the following day, you cruise out to the pool chemical cart, slap on your safety gloves and eradicate any rainborne disturbances with another round of pool shock. Is the summer ruined? Will the children swim again? Here's the deal. It's pretty tough to overshock your pool. Shocking your pool two days in a row with the proper dosage for your pool volume really shouldn't be a problem. And in fact, it's sometimes even needed to rid your pool of algae and other contaminants. But you don't want to raise the chlorine to an extreme level in your pool unless it's absolutely needed. As a reminder, you want your free available chlorine to fall within one and four parts per million. So what do I do if I put too much shock in my swimming pool? After you add shock to your pool, whether you added the right amount or more than the recommended dosage for your pool volume, wait about an hour or more and retest the water. If your free available chlorine is between 1 and 4 ppm, send the kids to suit up. If it's 5 ppm or higher, here are a couple things you can do. Number one, wait and test. Halt any current chlorination, like turning off automatic chlorine feeders or removing chlorine floaters from the pool. Do not introduce any more chlorine until your water test indicates the levels are between 1 and 4 parts per million. Number two, expose your swimming pool to sunlight. UV rays help to burn off chlorine, so if your pool is covered, uncover it. Keep testing the pool water every day and start chlorinating the pool again when levels are around two parts per million. What does happen if you put too much chlorine in a swimming pool? Swimming in a pool with a high chlorine level above five parts per million could irritate your skin, hair, and eyes. But it's important to call out that smelling chlorine is almost always not what you think it is. That pungent chlorine smell that the signature scent of water parks and public pools is actually evidence of not enough chlorine. That's it for me. For more on pool care, watch our video on the difference between shock and chlorine. This is Megan D for a clean, clear swimming pool. Until later.